this is the technique that worked for me so I could get these, you know, the colors nice and smooth. Um, I would mix my colors on the on this paper here. And I used the gray one because it, it was less reflective, so I could um, see the color a little bit better. So I would mix it on here, and then I would just kind of spread it uh, on here, and then I would make it nice and even by just kind of scraping this down. And I think Chris has um, another So my, I, you may have seen these, and th these were recommended. I did not have good success. There are people who have great success. I didn't feel like it was wide enough, especially mm -hmm. for some of the bigger pieces to get a smooth full. So I got this at Orchard Supply. And um, that's the one that I like. I love yeah, this. I love Two bucks or something, right? Yeah. I mean, these are the things you versus try 15, versus, yeah. versus <laughs> twenty. You know, yeah. if anyone wants this, it's open mm -hmm. for them. But you know, I would just, I would get this, you know, con easy consistency that I would like. Oh, Chris, okay. what is it called? Which I think it's a smoothing tool. Like I think it's for, it's by the pain. It's actually for um, patching plaster, mm -hmm. taping drywall, patching plaster. It's, I, we can pass it around. Mm -hmm. um, you can use either end, but I just felt like I personally, and, and as Sue was saying, you're gonna find the tool that works best for you. I've seen beautiful work with this. I've seen people yeah. have success with this. So I have two, but I wasn't one of them. Right, you know, it's, <laughs> it was, so it's, it's experimenting and not feeling desperate when one thing is not working for you. Go to another one, yeah. try something else. You'll know what your hand is. So my little method for, for the paint, because I ended up, um, well, okay. So, first off, you want to you want to start by making your primary colors, and what I found, I it was just a lot of experimenting. But I finally, you know, got my little system down. And what I did is I started putting like little gallops of paint, and then I would just like, kind of start mixing in between. You know, take it. You know, like when you're making the like the yellow orange, you know, you add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red, and you end up with that. But in order to keep track of it, I would just do dollops, and I would take like, you know, half of one, a full one, and then I would just keep track. So all of my colors ended up with a little, like four parts uh, yellow light, one part yellow medium, and then half a part of yellow red, or of, um, light red to make the colors. What is this, Sue? Let me just, I've not seen this before. This is the, um, is that how you mix your colors? Just on this paper. It's like a this, palette, but it's palette. really nice. You know, you yeah. can dispose it. It's not yeah. your plastic oh. palette that you yeah. have. I've not so seen you're not that washed. before. Yeah, so that way you don't have to wash all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so this is what I would do. I'd just take my paint and kind of spread it around. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to put a lot on it so I can spread it. And then once, you know, you, and then um, I would just keep tracking it. it I just kind of blew it. If you let the paint sit on a little bit longer, you can see like the little dot where it was. So if you, you can kind of keep track of your formula that way. You can just see the outline of where it was. And then I would just take a, a glob of it and kind of put it on there. And then I would take this guy and smooth it out. Like this. And just like very, um, very lightly. And so you want to try to avoid those little divots. Uh, but you can only you only have like two or three tries before it starts to get dried on you. And then I would let these dry, um, and then I would, and then I end up with a bunch of these, you know, little all across. And once they dry, the the color changes a little bit. So I would um, try to dry them with a blow dryer real quick, and then see if it matches up to the color wheel. And then you just kind of tweak it as you go. So it's a lot of experimenting, a lot of trial and error, but that goes. One thing can I